the first step in creating a web page and a website uh, would be to create the file folder structure that all the elements will exist in. Uh, a website is made of, of many files and folders and images uh, and other media. Uh, and it's very important that the structure is a certain way so that they are connected and referenced correctly. All right. And you'll see as we go along why that's why it's kind of important, uh, you know. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and you're going to um, write. We're going to make a, ma a master folder where everything's going to go in uh, first. So on your desktop, this is my desktop. I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go new. And then you're going to choose folder. Now, I'm obviously on a PC. If you're on a Mac, it should be relatively similar you should just be able to do the same thing so the name should be your last name so my last name is cone and then underscore site okay um really the name could be whatever you like uh in this case just for me at this moment i want you to name it that uh but normally you would just make it the name of whatever your web website would be so it just be one long word um you do have to take some things into account with file and folder names is that they cannot um have certain uh if you're familiar with coding they can't have certain um there's certain restrictions. So it has to only be letters and numbers. Um, they cannot, uh, you cannot use spaces. So notice I used an underscore. Uh, you generally want to write in camel case. We'll probably discuss that a little bit later. Um, and you do not want to start with a number. Uh, you also can't use symbols, things like that. All right, so we made our master folder. Now what I need to do is put subfolders inside of this. So I'm just going to open that up. So just double click on it to open it up. Uh, should open up your finder window or uh, file explorer. I think it's called on a PC. Uh, inside of my folder here, I'm just going to make three subfolders. So I'm going to right click. You're going to go new folder and we'll call this one um, CSS. And you'll see what that's for. Not today, but in the future. Make another folder. That one will be called JS. And then we'll make one more folder. And that will be called images. Okay. And every website that you ever see will have all three of these folders inside a master folder. So that's the basic folder structure. Now we need to do is actually make our HTML document uh, and place it in here. Okay. So you're going to want to open up uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code. You should have downloaded it earlier. So here it is right here. Um, now, when you open it up, it might have um, a little thing here. Um, in fact, actually, I'm going to reopen it up and so I can show you. So it probably will look like this. You can either exit out of this or you can click on new file. I'm just going to exit out of it because I just find it annoying. And then you can just go up here, go file and just do new text file. Okay. And it's going to open up a new text file, but it's not currently saved. Um, you'll notice as soon as you start typing, um, there should be, oh, it's not really showing. Usually there's a little asterisk, but it doesn't have a file name yet associated with it. Okay. Um, it also doesn't know, like remember before I was showing as an example, it doesn't know what the file format is. Um, oh, it looked like it auto highlighted once it figured it out. So um, what you want to do from here is we're just going to go ahead and save this. So just do file um, and we're going to, uh, where are you? Oh, ah, okay. File. And then we're, okay. As soon as I use the scrolly wheel file and then save right here. Okay. So we're just going to do file save. And what I want you to do is go to that master folder you just created. It's not going to go in any of these subfolders. And you're just going to name this index.html. Okay. So hypertext markup language, index.html. So the reason why we name it index is that index is the home page. Whatever website you create will have many pages in it. Okay. Um, the way that like when you type in google.com, the way that it knows what page to open, it always opens index. So it looks for whatever HTML document is named index and that's the one it opens. So it's very important that your homepage is named index specifically. And then we'll hit save and voila. If you look at your file folder structure, you'll see now you have these folders and you have this index and you're basically set up and we can start writing inside of our, um, uh, HTML and start writing our document.